I'm gonna take a look at this Flex Solar 200 watt portable briefcase solar panel. This has been so far my favorite 200 watt portable briefcase solar panel. It uses monocrystalline cells, it's got a ton of bus bars, the carry handle works great, the legs are very sturdy. So I'm gonna show you guys how well this works. We've got a perfectly clear sunny day, the sun is just starting to hit solar peak hours, so we'll be able to get a good read on just how good this panel works in pretty much ideal conditions. I've got it connected over to my EcoFlow River Max, which has been drained down so I can get the most amount of power into it. So if you're interested in 200 watt briefcase solar panels, you wanna make sure you stick around for this video. Now you may be wondering why I have all these solar panels out behind me, and that's because in one of my other videos, I compared this panel as well as all of these panels to each other to see which one did the best. You wanna make sure you go check out that video as well, but this video is gonna be just about this flex solar unit. So basically we've got two 100 watt solar panels that have a hinge, corner protectors, and then here on the back, they have legs built into it. So that way it's easy to stand up anywhere you go. So whether you're in an RV situation or a van life or anything like that, Having these pre-built in legs is huge. It's got decent welds here on the corners, but they did try to go pretty light on the legs. So keep that in mind. You don't want to abuse them too hard, but they do feel pretty sturdy. On the back here is a PWM charge controller. Now PWM is not nearly as good as MPPT, but because this is a system that can be used solo for recharging a car battery uh, or anything like that, you can put a direct DC load right here in the USB it makes life a little bit easier. It uses an SAE connection, and you can see these panels are already connected right here. And so if I want to use the charge controller, I simply connect this loose SAE connector right here, and it will turn on the charge controller here. Or if I wanna use these panels in parallel, because that's how they're connected, the VOC on this is about 22.8 volts. I can just connect this, and it gives me an Anderson connector right here. So if I have a link, I will put that down below to where you can find this exact cable to make sure everything's working properly. But then I just go red to red, black to black, just like that. And then I can connect my solar cables directly into it like so. And then I can use my normal MC4 cables. So let's go ahead and get a readout on this and just see how much power it's making in nearly ideal conditions. So I know it's really difficult to see because it's an LCD screen, it's gonna be flashing, but we're seeing 169 watts going in right now. And we're just getting into the beginning of solar peak hours for the day. So we're basically getting 85% efficiency out of the solar panel right now, which is actually really high. Anything above 80% out of a solar panel is considered good. 70% is pretty okay. Anything below 70% of efficiency output is not very good. So that's one of the beauties of this whole system is I can use this MC4 connector as long as I have that Anderson adapter which means I can pretty much use any solar generator that I want on this. And this is going to be putting out about 24 volts. So I'm just at the top of the threshold for this EcoFlow River Max for how much voltage it can handle. And that's all there is to it, guys. This is a great solar panel. You'll be able to find this one at poweredportablesolar.com as well as links down below if you're interested in this. So if it's something that'll work for you, I highly recommend it. This is simply a really good option for when you want your kickstand built into your panel so you don't have to worry about having another stand to put your panels up on. I have another video where I do have a very affordable stand that'll hold about five 100 watt solar panels and it works very well and it's adjustable and everything like that. But having the kickstand built in is just uh, something that really makes life so much easier. So this is a really good way to be prepared because that PWM charge controller gives me versatility. And then I can also use it on most of my systems here at home home or in my RV or in the van or whatever. So thanks again for tuning in. Be prepared and I'll see you all in the next video.